back to episode 56 of G'day from the USA. I'm your host, Lady Amanda, and I thought it would be fun to have a chat about what it's really like for an Australian living and working in the USA. My co-host today is back again for the sixth time. G'day, Emma. G'day, is it, is it really six? <laughs> is it six? I think oh, it I is my four by yourself. Up. One with um, Mags, and then you again. I'm going to go six. Wow, I'm going to have to trust you. I didn't update my spreadsheet for you. <laughs> wow, you're really good at turning the tables around on that trusting. Like when I say yeah. something, you're like, do you trust me? And I'm like, yes. So then it's just trust like guaranteed me. I have to believe whatever you say. Well, I like how you call it emotional blackmail because I never thought of it that way, but that's exactly <laughs> what it is. Because <laughs> you literally say, do you trust me? And I either it's either a yes or a no. And so obviously if I choose trust – then it's like whatever you tell me next has to be fact. Well, and it's effective, isn't it? Because then you actually have to sit back and go, okay, yeah, actually I do trust you. So, all right, hit me. Um, Or, you know, sometimes, sometimes it's the opposite. It's like, no, I don't freaking trust you. (laughs) Yeah, I never say that. that That's the problem. You haven't done that to me yet, but. No, I have not. I mean. Ever. Certain people. Oh, Um, Before we get too far in, Emma was, of course, born and raised in the beautiful Pacific Northwest town of Port Angeles, Washington, currently lives in Mesa, Arizona, and is about as American as, please, answer. You know, I thought you might throw this at me unprepared. I did. And I I looked across my desk here. here. Okay. I wasn't aware. Um, I looked across my desk here and I saw a bear and I think that like black bears or grizzly bears possibly are American I love bears I I would love what is Maggie got me this (laughs) it's a shot glass but it's a giant shot glass oh yeah I wasn't really showing you at first but I will now I was looking behind you hi Charlie hey Bubba that is really cool I it is a bear shot glass yeah, I was looking for, like, did it say Wisconsin on it, Illinois, something like that? Because I know that's from Maggie when she came back from a trip. Very cool. Um, Speaking of trips, you've had a busy week. Do tell. Yes, ma'am. Uh, busy week. Where did it <laughs> even start? Um, We'll probably talk about my conference that I was at later. So, um, yes, Sedona. Yes, that was fascinating. We- Talking about trips, talk about Sedona. My gosh. And um, I haven't even had the opportunity to like sit and reflect on it because it just happened yesterday. But (laughs) so Maggie's, of course, visiting us from Illinois. She used to live here in Arizona for, oh God, what did she say? Four years or something? Anyway, we were friends like the whole time we were all here. And then she moved away and we cried for days. (laughs) Bitch. <laughs> so she's back to visit for five weeks and uh, staying with us. So she's been a mm-hmm. wonderful house guest. And um, one thing that we like to do with her as a friend is show her new things, take her on adventures, teach her our ways. And so she had never been to Can Sedona. Can I just interrupt for one second? She lived there for four years. How did she not go to Sedona? It's like two hours up the road. I know that's what we said. This fact. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because I feel that's like if I lived said. there for a week, I would have done it. You know, yeah. Sedona. If you're in Arizona ever, anywhere, you know, besides Tucson, you need to go to Sedona. And I say not Tucson because that's pretty far south compared to Sedona. But if you're in Phoenix, you got to go. If you're in Flagstaff, you got to go. If you're yeah. in Kingman, you know, so. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So, yes. Yeah, so we we decided to fix that for her. Yes. And it needed my to be mother, corrected. Mm-hmm, and my mother-in-law has been here a couple of years as well and hadn't been. So we – and her birthday is coming up shortly. Yeah. So we decided to fix that too. And so um, my wife, my sister-in-law, Maggie, and my mother-in-law, we all went up to Sedona. And it was just – Phenomenal. Magic. I mean, 
if it was a little windy, if there hadn't been any wind, um, Chelsea says it would have been even more perfect, but it was just like, just like, I think I was telling you about our trip to New Mexico. Everything was just so mm-hmm. smooth yeah. and wonderful and just so enjoyable. That well, almost, almost perfect. Oh, can we talk about, <laughs> can we talk this about one thing? Yeah. This one little thing. Oh. The car? The car. The car. The car? The, the car. The, tr- the trip. The fall at the car. Oh, okay. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Um, oh, gosh. Yeah, how can you forget that? Well, I didn't forget it, but. Don't you have the bruises I, to prove it? I do. I'm sorry. I'm just tripping because I'm, I'm trying to figure out if you said the trip at the car or whatever you said. I don't know. But anyway. Yeah, the trip, the um, fall. Like yes. when you tripped. Not the trip yes. that we went to Arizona or no, to Sedona, the but the trip where <laughs> I fell. Okay. Dramatically. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> it does hurt. So, okay. So we we just get up to Sedona. Literally, we're literally, literally, literally. We're on literally. our... <laughs> I can't say it anymore without your voice in my head. We <laughs> just pulled up to our first stop. Our first stop is Boynton Canyon Trail, I believe it's called. And there's a mm-hmm. vortex there. There's a energy Ooh. vortex. Um, let's not go down that rabbit hole quite yet, but okay. We just pull up. And um, so we're riding in Devin's car, and Devin drives a GMC. What is it called? Like a, is it a Tahoe? Terrain? I always get it wrong. I think it's a Tahoe. It's this big. Yeah, that's why we were able to bring five people comfortably is there's extra seats right. in the it's back. Got, like, so it's, it's, it's got this big rig SUV. Yeah. And she has to park on the side of the road, and the side of the road is really slanted, so much so on the passenger side that, like, you – I couldn't set my phone down mm. because it would slide. It was that slanted. Oh. And then right. Devin goes to get out of the car – and she has to push with both her legs, push her door open. And oh. she's talking about it being like a, a leg press at the gym. Yeah. <laughs> and then, so I have to go over and help my mother-in-law out as well. So I have to open her door for her. And it was heavy for me even. And yeah. then she grabbed my hand and she pulled herself out. That's how slant oh. it was. So we're standing there at the car. We're getting our hiking shoes on and whatever. And... I'm standing on this slant of a hill Mm -hmm. and I have, it's a little bit windy. It's a little cool in the morning. Like I said, so I have my sweatshirt on and both my hands are in my front sweatshirt pocket (laughs) and I have my keys and my pocket knife in my pocket on the left-hand side. And I just slipped. I literally just slipped. Like my foot went out from under me. Like gravel, ice, like what was slippery? It was just gravel. Okay. And okay. so one foot goes and then I've, I'm just in my head in this half a second that it happens thinking <laughs> I'm definitely going to catch myself. You know, this is no problem. Yeah. And so I go to catch myself with my other foot, but then that one slips too. Oh, and no. my hands remain in my pocket <laughs> and I just go down like, <laughs> like timber, like it's a not tree funny, falling. It is. <laughs> Straight as a board, just <laughs> it was so funny, Amanda. <laughs> and Did I landed you hit your head on, or anything? No, no, well, I hit my hip, so I fall straight as a board, like face first <laughs> on the side of the road. Everyone's standing around me, looking at me. We're talking, and when I land, I can tell that it hurts. Like I'm hurt. Yeah. But I'm not like hurt, hurt, but it, it's like, ow. Mm-hmm. And that's exactly what I said. I was just like, ow. And I laid there. <laughs> I didn't get up right away like I usually would. And I kind of rolled off of my left side onto my stomach. And everyone's looking at me. They're like, are you okay? And they're also kind of like, they're trying to figure out if they should laugh or not. You know, I think they yeah. are laughing, but they're like, oh, no. I think I just and would have. <laughs> so I just said, ow. And in my head, I'm really trying to process, like, am I hurt? Because that did hurt. Am I okay? Like, yeah. how do I express, like, what I'm feeling? Because I'm not getting up. And 
I said, I landed on my knife. <laughs> oh, dear God. <laughs> And they all just like, (gasps) they just gasped and they're like, oh my God. And I said, no, 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 it's closed. It's not open. It's okay. But that was the first thing I could think of because that's where I hit and that's where it hurt. Yeah. Um, But then once I got up, I examined what was in my pocket and I realized my keys were in there too. So it wasn't just my pocket knife, but it was also my keys. That's actually what I landed on. So I'm just going to put it out there. My bruise is pretty black now. (laughs) <laughs> and um, can we have a sneak peek or no? No, I'd have to pull my pants down. It's like. No one can like, see but me. Oh, uh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you um, don't got it like that, Amanda. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that it does look like a kangaroo, the bruise. <laughs> I did take a picture of it. Um, don't you reckon? I don't see it. I don't see it. You're looking at well, ink blots, making things no, up. She had you had a kangaroo on your key ring. A kangaroo. Mm-hmm. What do you call that? Um, that you sent me for my birthday. Key ring. A kangaroo key ring, and it it looks like that. So I believe <laughs> that is what the bruise is. Um, but yes, it well, was like you've got an imagination, blot. but yeah, yeah. I appreciate the <laughs> the idea, the laugh. Uh, so yeah, that's how our day started out, and we were just like, "Oh my god!" Like, it, I don't know, just like, "Wait a what a way to start the day in Sedona," you know. But I really was okay. It it does hurt, but I really was okay, and so yeah, we were just laughing all day about it. <laughs> uh, a little bit. Wow. Yeah, but more so like when I touch it, it's more tender to the touch. But like, it's on the like smack dab on the side of my hip, so. If I were to, you know, I had to climb in the back seat a couple times. And if I were to um, land on it just ever so slightly, I was like, ow. Last night going to bed, ow. So. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can relate to having the bruises like that, that hurt when you sleep. Mm-hmm. Um, it is snowing again. So yesterday oh, when I was walking in the snow slash ice, I was very cautious because I'm like, I do not want to fall again. PTSD. Oh, PTSD. I've been wondering because your bruise was so big and so colorful. Yeah. It must have taken a while to go away, but it's it must have been over a month now, huh? Yeah, I it's would gone. say. Um, it is definitely gone, but it's still like if you press on the area, you can feel like a little bump still. Like I think I mm. might have like banged my bone or something. Is that possible? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it hit yes. it so hard, it just – like made a like a little golf ball underneath it. I mean, it's getting better, but it's still slightly tender. Yeah. Yeah. Be careful Maybe out there. Maybe I cracked a bone. Who knows? Anything Do you have any is possible tracks? with me. Say again. Do you have any yak tracks? Oh, I thought you said, "Do I have any tracky ducks?" And I'm like, "Of course I do." <laughs> <laughs> yak? Tra- no, but I think you did tell me to get them. You put them on your yeah. shoes. Mm-hmm. They're just like little metal like chainy things like chains for your car but like chains for your feet i had you been just slip wearing them, over them your shoes for yeah i know traction. what you mean i had been wearing them um and then i didn't have them on those shoes you're not allowed to go out in that snow and ice until you have those on <laughs> okay <laughs> got it uh, maybe i word, just want to compete word, with your bros ah the word unco keeps coming to mind yeah <laughs> That was definitely you just use unco. it. <laughs> you just use it like everyone knows what it is, but I had to figure it oh, out by don't? context. Well, I know now after huh. talking to you, but yeah, I that's not a word this. here. Oh, I mean, it's just a guess shortened version of uncoordinated. Right. Yeah. I love it. Unco. I guess mm-hmm. it's like air con. Would you say that? It's 100% like that. Nobody says air con here. It's AC, yeah. air conditioning, well, A slash C. Um, this is a really good segue. <laughs> well, no, it's not really. I was going to do the guess the Aussie words, but yeah, we're still even talking about Sedona. We just got hooked on that. We're barely even there. <laughs> we're barely even at <laughs> We're not even there yet. <laughs> right. Okay, yeah, so you're struggling. Already. But you finally made it, right? Finally made it. So, okay, so then we – so. Do you know about the energy vortexes there? 
I've heard of it, but I have not explored it in great detail. So could you give us a little rundown? Are you Googling? <laughs> I am because I, I'm i not an expert in this. Okay. So a vortex Did is you believed feel to be- the energy is what I need to know. I think so. I think so. And let's, we can dig into that a little bit. So a vortex is believed to be a special spot on the earth where energy is either entering into the earth or projecting out of the earth's plane. And you Google the question, or it's not even a question. You just Google energy vortex. And at least for me, first thing that comes up, visit Sedona.com because Sedona is very well known for that. So so yeah, that's what, there's a bunch of those all over, you know, they publicize certain ones and like people hike to them and whatnot, but right. um, my sister-in-law, Devin, had um, gone on a vortex tour, what did she call it, with a guy, yeah. with a guide, and so she kind of learned from him about, you know, the more in-depth information about vortexes in Sedona, and he said there's over 600 in Sedona. And so you're just scratching the surface when you're following, you know, your Google search. Um, And then some other people will say like the whole area of Sedona is basically a vortex, energy vortex. So I find it um, a very healing place. Exactly. I think, you know, that's one of the reasons people do find it healing is because theoretically energy, energy vortex. Yeah. So what did you experience? All right, so let me tell you. We went to Ooh. what was the first one? Okay, so the first one was the Boynton Canyon, and then we went to Rachel's Knoll, and then we went to another oh, one. I went to Rachel's which, Knoll. Did you? Oh, yeah, <laughs> middle which, of nowhere, and it's got a great of, view. Yeah. Uh huh. So there's all story and then you're to looking it. Out I'm over something. To, but yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So you have to drive into a community. Yes. To get there. But yes. you, it's. And then there's a the tiny story, little hike at the top, but it. it's, you're literally parked at outside someone's house almost. Exactly. Yeah. They kind of, they built all yeah. these okay, homes and this there. golf course around yeah, this place. Golf course. That, that's it. That this gal, Rachel, had said she had purchased yes. and she had said that she wanted to make sure that that spot was accessible to everybody so anyone could come feel those healing yeah. um impacts but yeah then they built like a whole luxury community yeah. golf course around it so you have to say oh, I'm, I'm going to rachel's knoll and they have to let you go there and it was like and you had to pay to get three, in didn't four you? bucks yeah it was a few was bucks to to say, get in. you had to pay yeah cash only thank thankfully yes. Devin had a five in her car that was the only cash the whole team had <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so we went there and then we also went to Stupa Peace Park, I think it's called. And I had never heard of that one. So No. And you know, there was me and then there was my four friends and family and everybody had a little bit different experience, but I will say Maggie was really fun to be with on these uh little vortex hikes because She's more of a traditional kind of person. I think she can yeah. kind of be skeptical of things like these. And she was she was I think she was a little skeptical going in. She she didn't she didn't quite know what to think. She was like, Am I gonna just right. like get so energized? You know, is that what it means? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so anyway, but we get there. Oh, and another preconception she had is, is um, am I gonna get there and just start crying? <laughs> oh. And we're just <clears throat> I'm just like, I don't know. Like, is that what you're feeling like right now? I don't know. Yeah. So, but we get there, the first one, and she really did have like an overwhelm of emotion, which I we thought was pretty cool and pretty interesting. But um, I didn't really feel too much at that site. I, um, that site and the next site when I was really trying to like be in touch with what am I feeling? I, I don't know if I'm right. reaching too far. You know, I was trying to like be cognizant of you know how my body felt or whatever how my energies yeah. were but I also didn't want to like force it so but I I do feel like I was just feeling really like happy peaceful content um a lot of love like with the people uh-huh. I was with you know yeah. just really kind of connected and so um at both the first two places I was feeling like that and then at the third place the peace park <clears throat> excuse me a little cough um 
that one was you know they they have the added vibe there of like um i think it's buddhist the the stupa okay. so it's a sunday pictures if i didn't already there's it's this like structure this like temple if you will um stupa you'd have to it's called a stupa you'd have to google it if you don't know what it is but mm. um okay. it's a place for prayer and meditation and right um, they have like <clears throat> these these other like spinny things that you go spin the things <laughs> for lack of better word they're like these metal like structures and then okay. you walk around it clockwise and you, there's like a little box where you can ask you can like write down a prayer request and there's wind chimes and there's the Tibetan flags, prayer flags like blowing in the wind and there's birds chirping. It was really, really, really oh, wow. like setting a Zen <laughs> yeah. kind of stage. And so there it was definitely a different feel because I think everybody was really just trying to like feel <clears throat> that like meditative state. <clears throat> Right. And I actually did because while everybody else was like going around exploring the grounds, I just sat in this chair in the sun and closed my eyes and breathed, bright breathed, yeah, breathed, and was just thinking about like <laughs> like meditated what I need, yeah, what I need and what I'm hopeful for and a, a lot of you know different things that was going on in my mind. Aww, but yeah, basically I, I meditated. I'm, I'm not, you know, a hundred percent like a person who meditates, but I, I try to dibble and dabble here and there to yeah. you know, for health benefits and mental wellness and stuff. But um, yeah, so I, I just really like did definitely feel the the vibe of that place and took it in. That's really cool. Did you ever go to that church on a rock or something? It's like, I can't think what it's called, but you know what I mean? Yep. So I've been to Sedona a handful of times now, and we just went yesterday to, it's called Chapel of the Holy Cross. Yeah. And so. it is a chapel, a Catholic chapel built into the rock face of the Sedona Red Rocks. And it's actually yeah. pretty magnificent. When you <clears throat> you see pictures, it's pretty much like the pictures, but when you see it in person, it's just kind of like this cool, magnificent, like, look um and you can drive up to it park walk into the chapel they got a gift shop um that one that was a vibe too i wonder if it's on a vortex yeah. or if it was just like the churchy vibe but um gorgeous scenery yeah. too like even if you just want to go yes. there for a good oh, look out just to look around yeah yeah did you go that there was pretty we did yes <laughs> did. i'm still waiting on like your you know pictures and stories from sedona you, I know yeah. you hung by the pool. You caught a me lot, at a bad so. time um, <laughs> when you asked, and then I was trying to think where they were. Like that was my thing. Like, are they on Facebook? Are they on my phone? I couldn't actually think, and then I couldn't compute the dates in my head to think when I'd been. You know mm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. Well, because when you so you've been scratchy, there... that thing I can hear it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's my shirt. No, don't be sorry. Day from the just, USA, she's rubbing her t-shirt. <laughs> It's like I've got the same one, but it's like, what would you call this? Waterproof? I don't know what to call this. I think it's like a vinyl sticker okay, that vinyl was sticker. printed, like um, screen printed onto the shirt. It's just a little vinyl. Well, it was like I would say ironed on. Maybe it's like an iron on thing. Yeah, there we go. Um. Sedona just is a wonderful, wonderful place. Like if you haven't been, you must go. It's the Red Rocks must. for me. It reminds yeah. me of Outback Australia. Like the mm -hmm. dirt in Australia is like red in the Outback mm. like that. And it just reminds me of that. Like if you were to go to Ayers Rock or Uluru as it's called now. Um, yeah, it has that similar feel. I like it. Have you done Southern Utah very much, like Kanab? No, I've Zion. driven through it and sort of seen bits of it, but no, I need to thoroughly explore that with you. Okay. <laughs> yes, <laughs> let's do it. So, um, okay. Southern Utah, I've been, I've been here and there. Um, I still need to do like Bryce Canyon and Arches and things yeah. like that, but yes. I've done Zion and Kanab is what I want to make mention of because. Kanab is like a mini Sedona, I would say. And it, it 
is home to the coral pink sand dunes. And that place is incredible. Oh, I that absolutely loved amazing. it. Yeah, yeah. We, you can like, kind of like we just did in um, White Sands National Park, you can rent yes. a sled or a snowboard. White Sands doesn't have a, doesn't have snowboards. You could probably bring your own. But yeah. Kanab at Coral Pink Sand Dunes, you can rent either or. And we did that. And oh my God, I have some great videos to show you. I can't believe I have sent those Please yet, but show. It's reminding um, me. Yeah. So much fun. At White Sands, could you have bought your own little sled? Yes. Like, so you know, they, a snow sled. Yeah. So I was, I did my research and then I forgot to plan accordingly. Um, right. <laughs> you can, you cannot rent them. You have to buy them and they sell what? them for like, yeah, it's dumb. They sell them for like $25 one for time. new mm-hmm. oh. or $20 for used. But guess which ones run out first? The used ones because people want to save five bucks. So I right. meant to bring my own because you can't. Right. And also I don't have one, but I wonder if I could even find a sled in Mesa, Are we just Arizona? talking about the ones you use in the snow? Yeah, like those plastic saucers. Yes. Not like not like the old school wooden ones on the rails, but no, plastic but saucers. No, but like a plastic orange sled that I see orange, people Orange, whatever like, color. <laughs> we got one at like Goodwill or something for like a buck and yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I know exactly That's what you exactly mean. That's exactly it. And I imagine the theory of snow and sand is no different. Uh, I mean, it's a little different, but it's the same same idea. So, and here's the difference between the two parks, Coral mm-hmm. Pink Sand Dunes and White Sands. Coral Pink. One's pink, one's Not only white. do they let you rent, not only do you have two different options for the type of sled slash snowboard, they also wax <laughs> it for you. So, Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and it helps you to slide down the sand. Yeah. And Love <laughs> so that. much fun. So, so much fun. So I definitely recommend Canab for Coral Pink Sand Dunes as well. But, do people yeah, so Southern sit Utah. or do they like surf almost, like stand up? So it depends on the the uh, item, the – what is it called? The it depends on the – the board that you have, yeah, or the sled. If you do a sled, yeah. you should probably sit down. Some people who are a little more adventurous might stand up on them, but they're not intended for that. Right. And then literally the ones that they rent literally. you at Coral Pink, though, it is a snowboard, oh. but for sand. So you stand so you're up. just – oh, that's crazy. You strap in. I'd be dead. I'd probably do something <laughs> insane. <laughs> for real. <laughs> if there's an well, accident you would, you to would be get a had, sled. Yeah, you know how they're like, oh, there's, you know, it's so safe. No one, you can't injure yourself, guaranteed. I'd have <laughs> like a scrape down my face or something. <laughs> oh, man. I, I'm not even kidding. I am that unco that it would happen to me. Um, Yeah, you've mentioned that a time or two. And so I, I do <laughs> wonder like if and when you come true. to visit, like where we got to draw the line because, you know, we hike. <laughs> Don't want to take you on a hike. Yeah, like if there's a rattlesnake, they're guaranteed. Or... It'll bite. Me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Bring kayaking. anti-venom. Yeah, if major we go Kayaking, like, are you going to fall out? No, I've not no. fallen out of a kayak. Oh, and I, I told can you about I the... did. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> Tell... <laughs> Is there a, a story kayak. there? Where Where were you? No, no, no story. Just things um, happen. Yeah. I got this great video of my father-in-law falling out of the kayak. Just Ew. tipped over, just like a weebles wobble, but he fell down. <laughs> That's crazy. Is he okay? Uh, oh, yeah. He was fine. I I was sitting there recording, and Chelsea was with me, and then he just tips and goes under. And I said, go help your father. She's standing there <laughs> laughing. <laughs> wow. Said, go help him. And it just happened out of the blue? Yes, yeah, so I should send you that video too. It's basically how I fell Please down on do. the on the side of the road. That's how he fell out of his kayak. Oh my he god! The whole thing. That's crazy. Actually, um, just to wrap up Sedona, let's yeah. talk about food. Oh man, <laughs> what do you want to know? Okay, have you guys ever been to the crepe place? Because I feel like everyone no. knows this crepe place, and it is busy amazing 
incredible. There's a wait to get in, but worth it. Mm. Highly recommend. I don't think anyone's ever told me to go to a crepe place there. It's next so. to a thrift store. FYI, because while we had to wait, we just went and looked in it and it was right next door. Hmm. That's yeah. a good deal. I love having something to do when you have to wait for right. a restaurant line. Exactly. So now I haven't but done yeah, that. Yeah, it was good. Now I want to. Then my problem with crepes is usually oh, you're you having issues. them. <laughs> usually you're having them for breakfast. So <laughs> you have to pick between savory and sweet. Oh no no no, my friend! You, you get no. both. Yeah, I, okay. Do I need to teach you the ways? There's <sighs> multiple people. Like if you like, you're at least going with another person. You okay. always split. You all one okay. gets savory, one gets sweet. You always split. So David right. got the savory chicken and something or other, chicken and spinach, and I got. Whatever it was, I can't remember now. The sweet one, and then we just shared. Done. Okay. Well, that is a genius plan, and I right. think we do tend to do stuff like that. But I think for me, in my mind, crepes are sweet. But then I don't typically order my breakfast sweet. I usually want it savory. Yeah. Or I, I guess I could do both. But yeah, yeah I was so I just it, it's just, just a little need to go and enjoy it. I know. Yeah, I know. But I guess yeah. That's my problem. And so I want like eggs and meat and toast or yeah, I want those like first world steak. problems are harsh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and if I'm going to eat a, if I'm going to eat a like crepe, I feel like, yeah, I need to have like an actual hearty breakfast first, but they are so tasty. Wow. I do love a crepe. I just, that's my problem every time. So, okay. But what we wow. did do, you want to hear about what we did do? Yeah, I do. All right, Mexican, so, of um, course. Yeah, so last time that I went to Sedona, uh, it was a shit show. There were so many people going to Sedona that weekend. And when you mm -hmm. take the scenic byway in, there's basically two different ways to get there from yes. Phoenix. And I wanted to take the scenic byway in as part of the as itinerary always. for my friends that were visiting. But the scenic byway that day was backed up for miles. It was bumper to bumper oh. traffic, stop and go. And it kind of put, like, it really set a damper tone for the day. Yeah. So I, during that whole time, was, like, knowing that the whole downtown Sedona area where most of the food recommendations are, it was going to be, be again, a shit show. And I was like, I don't, I don't want to deal with this. So I was researching, researching, researching while we were waiting. And I asked the Google machine, like, where the locals <laughs> eat in Sedona. Right. <laughs> And so I found a couple articles and I read through them and I found one called Tortas de Fuego. And mm. so we went there in December when we brought our other friends and it was fantastic. Everybody enjoyed everything that they had. So when Chelsea was planning this itinerary, she just copy paste. She was like, let's go back to Tortas de Fuego, you know. And so we yeah. went there again and again, did not Spanish? disappoint. A little bit. I minored in I Spanish could tell in college. You what? What did? Majored. Minored. Minored. Yeah. Huh. What does that even mean? I mean, I get what major and minor means, but what does it mean? Yeah. To do so, this. So. So if you're gonna minor in something, yeah, it's and why it's like you? a secondary focus. So you it means basically you're you take enough classes on that subject that you don't get your whole degree in that, but you get like you know, credit for calling out on your diploma or on your transcript or whatever that you did enough of that, that you have minored in that. So I majored in community health education with a minor in right. Spanish. So I'm just studying. And how Spanish does that help you? Um, well, Besides it doesn't really, an extra 30 grand debt, you know? Okay. So I take it back. Well, it's not an extra cause you have to take these undergrad classes. Anyway, you have to take some oh, okay. number of credits. So, and it, it does help me. I wish that I put more focus on like practicing in-person conversational Spanish while I was studying it because I'm not fluent, but it really does help me like, um, at work, like some hmm. of our partner agencies are Spanish in, 
you know, the people they serve and the work that they do and their names of their organizations. So um, I really enjoy being able to say the words as they're intended instead of butchering them. Yeah. Um, yeah. So there's that. And I, you know, I've been to Nicaragua and spent a week there and got by on my Spanish. It was difficult because as I said, I'm not fluent, but I did get by. Um, That's cool. Spanish only. And yeah, we've traveled, you know, to like some other Spanish speaking countries where Spanish has come in handy. Um, Mexico. I'm usually the one who speaks the most Spanish. So I ask the questions and get the directions and things like that. When we were in Mexico together, um, <laughs> did you speak Spanish like on land? Yes. Yes, I did. Oh, uh, interesting. Like to show off or just to be? No, usually out of necessity because it's a little embarrassing Ooh. when you go to speak Spanish and you're like, I actually don't know how to say that. Or, you know, you yeah. you know how to say the question, but then when they answer back and they think you speak the language, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. they'll just they shoot it the... at you and you're like, oh, God, yeah. I don't even know what you said. So it's a little nerve wracking and embarrassing. So if the, you, uh, the correct you know, answer so I, when that necessity. happens, when that happens and they shoot it back at you, here's the response. See. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> See. How's your, how's your French coming along, Amanda? Yeah. <laughs> we. <laughs> yeah it's i'm not doing it every day not gonna lie you still on, um, you are or you aren't no i am i'm at like okay. day 812 or Good. something don't lose your streak oh wouldn't couldn't i worry about you on your streaks because you know your facebook posts get few and far between and you're posting harsh daily happiness that is harsh <laughs> I still do the happiness. I just don't get on there to post it as yeah, much, but I still am right. recording it every day. Yeah. Oh well, okay. My God. Well, as long as you keep your streaks up, you know, like I've, you have a I lot honestly, going on. I, I do have a lot going on. I feel like I'm too stretched thin on these social media things. Yeah. Yeah. You poor thing. Um, it's so hard to be so popular. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, please. <laughs> Amanda who? Um, I just wanted to talk about my week because you've been on about you for the last 37 oh, yes. minutes. Amanda. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to give a shout out to Johnny and Linda over the road who came and rescued me in the snow yes. yesterday because I was snowed in. And, yeah, it took me out. We went to um, Home Depot, my favourite store, went to Starbucks, um, which was lovely. And we did hit up a couple of estate sales. Have you ever done that? Um, not it's as like, like a, a garage sale, but yeah. I mean, I've been to them. Not. I don't I haven't like gone yeah. around looking for them though. That can, yeah, that can no. be a lot of fun. Um, did you have any good finds? I did not. They oh. um, had bought a Persian rug and were looking for another. But Ooh. yeah, it was sort of cool, fun. I had just a great time, and then we had dinner. And, um, yeah, it was a great night. We watched The Voice. Have you ever watched that? Mm, yeah, like I didn't even know passing. who the people were. Like I knew John Legend and then I honestly didn't mm -hmm. know the others. But one was Reba. Uh, um, yes, my girl. And then there was two guys that were country music. I couldn't even um, tell you their um, names. Um, um, John and um, Jay or Blake something Shelton. like that. Was Blake Shelton on nope. there? No. Nope. Dan and Shay? Yes. How do you know that? Yeah, I Googled it. I don't know enough about the show to know that Dan and Shay were on yes. there. But I love Dan and, and then Shay. They remind me of Rascal was... Flats. Oh, okay. Um, and then there was Chance the Rapper. Oh. And I really favorite, liked him. Right? Well, I didn't know him. I'd never <laughs> seen him in my life, but he seemed cool. Um, so that was cool. Um, I also wanted to tell you about a challenge that um, Ashley and I are doing at the gym. Mm. Um, I don't think I've told you this. It's a photo challenge. <laughs> so it's nothing about actually doing work at the gym. We have okay. we have to take a photo of ourselves. <laughs> well, actually, we took the photo. I now need to go get it printed. <laughs> We're gonna make it put it in a frame and say, um, oh, what is the word? Something of the month. 
um, member of the members of the month, and then we're going to put it in a frame and put it in <laughs> in the gym. We're going to put this oh frame. Oh my <laughs> god! So I've got the photo. I just need to print it now. What kind <laughs> of photo frame. is it? Um, just us at the gym going like this, like with our thumbs up. <laughs> like, oh my gosh! Where are you going to put it? In the gym, like where, like locker well, room, front desk. There's okay. Probably by have the massage been to, chair. Yes. Have you ever been to Planet <laughs> Fitness? Yeah. Okay. There's like a black members. This sounds real racist, but you know what I mean. It's like the you black got segregation card. going on at your gym. No, I know. It's like a black <laughs> card. It's help me out. I'm just going oh. down a path near. Rescue me. <laughs> Is it like the executive membership at Costco? Yes. With that yes. is a black card, actually. It is. No, it you. literally is called the black <laughs> membership or something. Oh, look at my hair. Sorry. Um, okay. It looks good. And um, anyway, so what does that mean shot, it's for like, placement? Well, it means that there's a, like a living room, like a lounge area, and then it has off that lounge area, there's massage chairs, there's uh, tanning, so in the little lounge area, we're going to put the frame. It's like a little table with a pot plant on it. Um, pot so plant? We, yeah, like a little potted plant. Potted um, plant. So there you go. We're going to put it. <laughs> potted marijuana We're going plant? to put it there. <laughs> no, it's definitely not This marijuana. is a fun lounge. Although we may switch it out. <laughs> So anyway, you that is our goal. You've got massage chairs, you've got <laughs> tanning beds, you got your pot. Next thing you know, Lady Amanda and Ashley are also going to be featured on the wall. So we don't know whether to just do it in the lounge area where it may get discovered more easily or there's two massage chairs in a room and so we're thinking, on again, there's a little table with a potted plant on it and we're thinking of putting it like there. So anytime anyone goes to have a massage, they'll be like, oh, members of the month. I wonder how I can be one. <laughs> <laughs> put it, you need to put it where it's not going to get discovered and confiscated by the staff. Yes. And then our, of course, our you photos might will be on it. Day. Yeah. Because yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm Ooh, like, what's the worst going to happen? Surely we're not banned. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can um, you can also take photos of other members at the gym and with their permission, oh. I would recommend and oh, rotate yeah, yeah. it, rotate <laughs> it. So you and Ashley <laughs> are in charge of members of the month. <laughs> this is gold. Mm. Can you send me a photo of you just doing the thumbs up? And oh, then my I'll God. Put that in. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's probably better if they're members that n are not at the mm. gym. <laughs> Really? Oh, <gasps> you're right. Then they're not gonna dub on us. Yeah. <laughs> well, no. Well, no. I meant like with their permission. So you like loop other people into your scheme, right? And at the same time, you can, you know, ask a live American a question or something, <laughs> right? <laughs> oh my god. So yeah. Anyway, this is their challenge. Like I said, it's not like related to our strength or anything like that. That is awesome. <laughs> You two are a hoot together. Oh, my God. Yeah, it is a classic. I, I can only imagine the two of you together with your accents get stopped everywhere you go. Like, you already we get do. stopped everywhere you go. But add Ashley's accent. Yeah, no, it's true. When we joined up, um, we're at the desk joining up, and everyone that walked into the gym had to, like, scan their card or phone or whatever, like, next to us. And like straight away, they're like, oh, where are you from? And then I'd be talking and then I'm like Australia and then she's talking and then she's like Alabama. And then, you know, <laughs> it was a, it was a whole thing. Alabama. It was a production. Alabama. Alabama. <laughs> Alabama. How do you say it? Alabama. There's no R. Alabama. 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 I guess it's like Bad when Mama I. Jamma. How. <laughs> How I think people say Amanda, Amanda. is like Amanda. Mm -hmm. but why do you think people no say it like that? Yeah, why do why Amanda. do you think people say it like that? I don't know. Just growing up, I would have thought that's how the American accent went. My name is Amanda. No, I just think. Oh, I think I see where you're coming from. Because we pronounce our R's more than you do. Right, but. Y'all are the what ones are that add the R sound. Symbol. Yeah, it, I'm, it's a flippy floppy. I'm like, 
doing something. like flipping my rock out sign, my pinky and my she's doing index finger. Yeah, she's doing a... Sometimes I forget we're on a podcast. <laughs> she's just doing it and I'm just like, what is happening right now? It's like she's, you know, like doing it to my face like I'm a bull or something. Toro. <clears throat> Subliminal um, messages. Okay, so you're going to put your members of the month photos in the place that you most frequent at the gym, the lounge. <laughs> Okay, you don't need to put it like that. We do Is equal. That right? We no, it's balanced. It's like oh. half the time we work out, half the time we massage. <sighs> it's a balanced workout. Okay, good. You know that is really good for moving the lactic acid out of the muscles. Thank you. We knew there would had to be a reason. I got your back, Amanda. <laughs> Thank you. You're the best. <laughs> um, did you know there's a massage chair called? Oh, I always call it the crypto, but it's the cryo and it basically oh. is hot and cold. So you can mm. basically put, you know, like lower body cold, like iced and then upper body hot or whatever. Same is really not. badly. Do you know what I mean? I did not know that. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you do and that? the best bit is it's only, I think it's 10 bucks for like a classic membership and 25 for the black card. Mm-hmm. Worth it. Hundred <laughs> percent worth it. Yeah. Um why not? So yeah, that's me. Um just some feedback. I know we got to almost the end of the episode, but I just I wanted know. to say. Um I wanted your feedback actually. What do you On? think of me? No, I'm just Oh my kidding. lord. What did you <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> what did you think of Beck? Because I know you had oh. made a lot of comments to me and messaged me a lot and I kept thinking to let Beck know, but I thought you could just tell her in person. Yeah. Hey or Beck. Over the podcast. What do hey, you call Kaden. Bex, by the way? Is it Beck or Bex that you're I saying? I don't know. Yeah, well, you're I just... think I I think I don't know her, so I try to say what I think her name is, but I think you say both. Interesting. So, yeah, I don't know. Beck, my Beck's. bad. Don't be bad. I mean, don't think you're bad. <laughs> what is it? What is we what? like bad? Okay. Beck, Beck's. I don't know. I think I said Beck, but whatever. I'm oh, sure okay. she'll answer to anything. Um. Hey, I really enjoyed it. Um. Let me see. The f- what I one thing that I enjoyed just first off the bat about the first episode was just you having another Aussie on. It was really cool, Aww. like, hearing the two of you, like, reminisce and talk about your yeah. homeland and, you know, connect in that way. Um, and then, well, I it's been a while since I listened to her first episode, but I did listen to her second one. And I just, like, oh, man, I just, like, I guess commend her for her story and for yeah. sharing her story. And it's very real. Um, it's, yeah. And just like, I mean, let's talk about a lot of parents don't have time for themselves, but add her specific situation. And you asked her about like, what would she do with a day off? And she didn't even know how to answer. Right. And the first thing she was thinking about was, well, what would the house look like? Do I need to do the dishes and such? And that just really highlights, I think, the sacrifice and the um, dedication and love that parents have. And so I just, I really appreciated like hearing her story and um, the, um, I don't know, the fact that she shared that with everybody on the podcast and um, thought it was really cool yeah it was a very real Mm -hmm. very real um yes thank you beck uh i have a game for you will you play yes i will play and i should say um last night when i asked you if i should prep anything and you said american slang for aussies and i was like i don't even know i did some prep work so i have that too if you want and if you don't want I'll come back. I do. Do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? No, you go ahead. Okay. Guess the Aussie. Oz, oh, my God. I said Aussie. <gasps> Amanda. Oh, we you just know need how much to stop shit this I got podcast right now. Yeah, I know. You know how much now, I, 
No, you don't understand. Every Australian <laughs> is now going to turn against me. Mm-hmm. You just became I've, 51% American, 49% I'm, Aussie. Yeah, I'm just ashamed of myself right It just now. happened. You heard it right here on the podcast. <laughs> I don't think I did. I'm going to say that I said Aussie. It just – it was a microphone. Um, this guess the Aussie word is courtesy of Karen mm. from Australia. Kaz. Thank you, Kaz. Bloody oath it is, Kaz. Um, she sent me these. So – I'm going to, they're phrases, okay? I want oh you to tell me what they mean. Oh, Lord. On the blink. Mm, on the blink. That sounds like when you're doing something quickly, like quick as a blink. You're doing something <laughs> on the blink. Quick as a blink. <laughs> it's yeah. gold. <laughs> no, nah, it means it's broken. Like, ah, it's bloody oh. on the blink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what we this, say? This would probably be a good TikTok. Yeah. On the fritz. No, don't. On the fritz. I need to write this one down. Hang on. On the fritz. Um, Okay, number two. Happy as Larry. Happy as Larry the Cable Guy. Ooh, who's Larry? Larry the Cable Guy? Um, Shit, what's his famous line? Um, That's funny right there. I don't care who you are, that's funny. Larry the Cable Guy is a comedian. That's what he says. Yeah, he's like a redneck um, comedian. What do you, uh, Bowden, Bowden? No. Bogan. Bogan. He's like a Bogan. (laughs) Bowden, I love this. (laughs) Um, Okay. Happy as Larry. Happy as Larry the Cable Guy. Okay. Well, same deal. It just means very freaking happy. You know what I mean? Happy as a clam. Yeah. (gasps) All right. This is well. These are good (laughs) content. How do you have here's a clam? Okay, flat out like a lizard drinking. Oh, my gosh. Flat out. <laughs> well, first I thought you were just saying flat out, like um, straight up, flat out. Flat out is a lizard drinking. All right, so a lizard drinks and he gets really dehydrated and he bakes in the sun and he just becomes real flat. So flat out like a lizard drinking. And I think it means straight up. Huh. I think it like means for real. busy, but now you've got – do do a Google and just test it out, but I'm pretty sure it just means busy. Flat out like a lizard drinking Aussie slang. Pretty sure it's busy, but now that I'm 51% American, I'm now doubting myself. Uh-oh. Please let me recover from this. Extremely busy at top speed. Oh. Good job. Okay, still an Aussie, still an Aussie. 50.5%. What, I only dropped a half? 5%. Wow. Hush. You are harsh. Okay, like a stunned mullet. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I mean, is it just, I mean, I don't know what to say to this one. Like, you're stunned, and so you're stunned as, so... A what mullet? Stunned mullet. A stunned mullet. <laughs> stunned as a stunned mullet? Yeah, so what? <clears throat> no, Is this a real like phrase? Like a stunned mullet. Yes, like a stunned mullet. Okay. Oh, got Beckham. Hey, Bex. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, behind I, I'm going to need your help on that one. I don't know okay, how a just mullet means... would look stunned. Is this the hairstyle party in the no. business on the front no, party no, no. in the back? No, it's not a hairdo. It's like a mullet is like an animal. Oh. I think. It basically See? just means shocked. Okay, yeah, that one really doesn't shocked. translate well. <laughs> no, it does not. Um, I didn't come down in the last shower. Huh? <laughs> I didn't come down in the last shower, Emma. What does that mean? Uh... Like you said something to me like, um, I went to Greece yesterday. I'd be like, oh, I didn't come down in the last shower, Emma. Give oh me a God. break. This this also really doesn't translate well. I am stumped. So <clears throat> you're gonna have to help me out. I, I mean, um, okay, let me. Just, I know the. I know half the fun of this is like hearing the ridiculousness that goes through people's yes. heads. Yes. Okay. So what I'm thinking is, <clears throat> what I'm thinking is. Um, okay, so I watch a lot of Wentworth. If 
if people know nothing about me from this podcast, they know I watch Wentworth. Um, and everyone on you, TikTok also knows that. Yeah. And so you get called, you have your like set block times for showers. It's like, if you don't shower at this time, you don't come down for your shower. Right. So, um, <laughs> I, would, I would think that you are getting a little ripe because you didn't make it for oh. your one and only chance for a shower. I didn't come down for the last shower. Getting no, it just means I'm not stupid. Like, <laughs> it's like you're telling a tall story, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm not stupid, Emma. Like, you did not do that. It doesn't make you know? any sense to me. I have like, no frame of reference for um, that. Yeah, like you're like, yeah, I won ten million dollars last night on a game of poker, and I'm like, oh, I didn't come down in the last shower, Emma. Like, come on. Oh, like I wasn't born yesterday. Yeah. Oh my god. I wasn't born yesterday. That's genius. Yes. Are you saying the last hour or shower? Shower. Okay. So I, I heard you correctly. Yes. Okay. Yes. I didn't like, basically I didn't come down when it last rained. Oh, (laughs) you know what I mean? Like not, it's actually snowing as we speak, by the way. Oh man. Are you going to be snowed in today? It looks that way. I mean, it looks like my car was covered in snow. So, yeah, I don't drive. We, like I said, we live on a cliff. Not mm-hmm. real keen to slide off it again. Mm. Um, finally, I've got one more. Mad as a cut snake. Well, if a snake gets cut, he's going to be pissed. So, it's the exact word I come wrote. At you. Pissed. Pissed. Yep. Might come just at you. really so freaking angry. Basically, you. I like that one. What? Yeah, <laughs> me. No, like I'm trying to. I was. I was. I was continuing to say like you. Oh. If you hadn't don't have hairspray in. Oh my god! <laughs> Yesterday in Sedona with the wind, I was just like, get me out of whipping. Your hair was whipping wind. around. Yeah. Um. Well I'm, done. You actually did. Not great. Mm. <laughs> but thank you, Karen. That was actually really cool. Um, okay, your turn. Now we just get to oh, slaughter right. me back. Right. Okay. So I, Amanda asks me to do these things as if I would know the differences between the U.S. and Australia. Mm-hmm. She's the expert being 49%, oh. 49.5% Aussie and really? 50%. Point five percent American. It's <laughs> really harsh. <laughs> uh, can you be a hundred? A hundred? I think. I think you can. I mean, mm, te- actually, mathematically, really, no. Yeah, mathematically. But yeah, I think okay. so. All right. So okay, I had to Google because I don't know. I don't know what you know and what you don't know. So Not I much. actually ended up getting a shit ton. Oh God, I'm scared. Um, and I, okay, I'm just going to jump in. I know we don't have a lot of time. Okay. Okay. Riding shotgun. The front seat. Yeah. Would you have known that before you lived here for 10 years? I think so. I feel like people say shotgun. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. A lot of people like to call it, call dibs on it. Um, oh, dibs. Yeah, more Probably people. Probably would never have said dibs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, square up. Square up? Yep. Square up. Yeah. Square up. I don't like that guy. I'm about to square up. I don't like that guy. I'm about to square up with him. Oh. About to put my fists up? Yeah, you just did a similar one with Ashley on a TikTok of uh, put up your dukes. Put up your dukes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you wouldn't have known that one. I you wouldn't have known square up. Okay. Yeah. No. Damn. I'm now dropped to 51% Aussie, 49% <laughs> USA. Okay. <laughs> Who's counting? <laughs> um. Okay. To make out like a bandit. Oh, I've heard this one. To make out like. Does that mean to like come away like a winner? Like, oh, yeah. I made out like a bandit last night on that game of poker. 
Yeah. I've never bloody played poker, but clearly I'm just like rolling with this saying today. Yeah. It's like you got a lot of winnings, whether it was, um, yeah, you got some money at poker or you got a lot of candy at Halloween. Right. Made out like a bandit. All right. Um, Good one. To table table something. Let's table that. Okay. I only know this because of brandy. Oh. Because I did do a TikTok and it was, what does it mean to table an item? Because I would have said, bring it to the table, chat about it now. It's on the table. <laughs> but apparently it means That's cute. take it, put it on the back burner, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. which sounds bloody crazy because you're basically it taking does. it off the table, not on the table. Yes. <clears throat> That's yeah. a great observation. Isn't it? Yes. It is really coming down. I wish you had um, – I mean, if I had a computer that I could move, I would show you the window because it's just like snowing up a treat. Snowing like up a treat. you've never seen it before. Snowing, <laughs> snowing up a treat, yes. Um, is that on it's your list of phrases? No, <laughs> just obviously an amandarism. Oh, okay. <laughs> amandarism. Yep. All right. <clears throat> How about a rain check? Oh, I do know that. Um, if it's raining, you get paid. You're no. effing with me. <laughs> yeah, no. A rain check means, okay, let's just say I go to the store and I'm like, I really want this pool and they're like, we don't have any. I'm like, can I get a rain check? And then they give me a piece of paper that says you can come back when we have more in stock. That is a rain check. Yep. Definitely. And you'll get the same price as it was yes. when it was on sale, even if they don't get the stock <clears throat> until later. But I yes. think I think that we actually more often use it like in terms of interpersonal communication. Like Right. Like I don't want to go today, word. but yeah, can I take a rain check? And yeah. I'll do it next week. Yeah, very good. Next year. All right. Never. Um how about Pass the buck. Oh, pass the buck. So if someone gives you a dollar bill and you pass it to the next person, you're literally you are effing with me again. Passing the buck. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pass the buck. Um, is it when someone is you're in trouble and you're like, oh, it wasn't me, it was Emma? No, that's close, but no cigar. <sighs> okay. I feel like I've heard it. I just can't define it. Help. Okay. So, <clears throat> damn. Um, pass the buck. So, like, <laughs> you want to pass the responsibility off to someone else. So, I, so like, oh, oh, I couldn't get to this task at work today, so I'll pass <clears throat> the buck to Marissa. Oh. Or what about, like, the boss says to you, did this get done? No, uh, Marissa was meant to do it. No, that's throwing someone under the bus. Oh, <laughs> throwing that's them under the bus. Okay. frowned upon. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody Marissa. <laughs> she does nothing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, well... <laughs> So I'm I actually joking. do have a staff Marissa, member. Marissa, we love you. You're and amazing. I do she's... actually have a staff member named Marissa and she is oh, fantastic. Really yeah, she's phenomenal. You always rave about Marissa. Is she the one that's just amazing at everything? Yeah, she's solid. Yeah. So I, I, do I, like I don't her. I don't think that any of my staff are going to listen to this, but if they do, I wanted to be oh, clear. They will now. <laughs> I yeah. wanted to be clear. Nah. We're not talking shit. Um, We're not talking about Marissa because a Marissa is the bee's knees, apparently, is an American knees. saying. The bee's yes, knees. Yes, that is an American saying. Not that I would ever use that. I know. It sounds like someone, <laughs> something an 80-year-old would say. But she's definitely earned some brownie points, which is the next one on the list. Brownie yes, points. Yes, she earned brownie points. She basically, it's like a Girl Scout, but a, like, before you're a Girl Scout, you're a brownie. You're still effing with me. No, this Are is you? true. No, I mean, I'm I expected serious. you to get these. 
No, I'm telling you this is true. Before you become a girl guide, you become you're a brownie. I was a brownie, and you have to wear a brown uniform, you and you really? have to hold your finger. I is was this a brownie. Why you buy, is this why you buy all the Girl Scout cookies and you can't say no? Oh my god, I get so sucked in. It's I literally. I'm going to tell you this story quickly. Quickly, I was I went also to Girl Scout. The- what? For one year. Oh, that would be cute. Do you have photos? I could see. <laughs> them. Did you sell the cookies? Uh, no. We photo for photo, but I, I, well, I say that, but I don't think I have any. So, if yeah, you I'm find wondering a photo, if I have any. Yeah, if you find one, I of know there yourself, is a photo of me in my little. Yes, there is definitely a photo of me in my little brown costume, and I was called a brownie. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that is, but that's not brownie points. Okay, brownie points means that Marissa did something great and earned brownie points at work. Like she bought you donuts and you're like, ooh, brownie points. Yes. God, Marissa, bring more donuts (laughs) for us. Okay. All right. How many more do you want? Because I know we're like kind of over time. Yeah. Okay. But everyone loves us, so they're going to – they're like, please don't let it end so soon. Uh, the whole nine yards. The whole nine yards. The whole nine yards. So let's just say you have a backyard and it's nine yards and then you dig up eight of it. You've almost dug the whole nine yards, but if you dig the whole thing, you've dug the entire nine yards. <laughs> Okay, so to speak. that's a literal translation. <laughs> oh, no, I can't think of the whole nine yards. All in, everything? Just yeah. going the whole nine yards? Everything. Okay. The whole, the whole, if you Google it, it says the whole lot, but I don't think Americans say the whole okay. lot. That so, sounds okay. There's, or British. An, there's a project at work and Marissa is just doing the entire thing. So she's doing the entire nine yards. Yes. No. Um, yeah. So I think, I mean, yeah, kind of, but I would say like, it's, it's more like it is, it does mean like everything you did everything, but I think it means like, and it was a lot. So, um, yeah, we went, they, um, like, okay. My friend Lori was rooting for the 49ers for the Super Bowl, and she did the whole nine yards and it's not, it doesn't have to be related to football. This just happens to be related. So she right. went out and spent a lot of money on her decoration. Oh. She got her food set up and she okay. decorated her entryway to her apartment as well she as the whole kitchen. Night. She and went her, she, the whole nine and yards. Beyond. She did the whole nine yards. Yeah. She went above, like she went, yes. Okay. She went above and beyond. Got yeah. it. Okay. I would say so. Okay. One more. One more. This one, because I thought this one was interesting. Haven't heard it in a while, but definitely. Oh, going postal. Oh, if you're going postal, for example, for your birthday, I went postal. <laughs> <laughs> you did and you did. It's <laughs> You're going to have to elaborate because I think there could be two okay, meaning so I words. went to the post office. And sent something by mail. So it went postal from <laughs> Washington to Arizona. <laughs> you did that. Um, okay. Nailed it? Thumbs up. I mean, it just gave me a thumbs up on camera. Um, <laughs> do you have any additional thoughts? Okay. Going postal. Does it just mean you're going crazy like – You're angry, you're yelling at someone like you're going postal. Yes. Is what I'm imagining. See, and and the reason I said you did both because you sent me quite the package. So you didn't, you, yeah, you went a little crazy on that package. I don't think so. so. Postal in two ways. (laughs) Okay, give me one more. I'm on a roll. I'm on a roll. All right, all right. You are actually. (laughs) Um, I know you'll know this one. I almost didn't even think that it was American. That sounds to me like an Aussie would definitely. These are like famous last words because then I'm going to be like, um, I got no clue. And then you're going to be like, oh my God, really? Okay. Ready? More bang for your buck. Ooh, more bang for your buck. Yes. You're that kind of gal. 
Yeah. Oh, yes. I do like my bang from a buck. Mm-hmm. So, oh, are you like kinking out your neck? I'm trying to crack Can you my do neck that? Down. Can you do your usually, own little um, it, Cairo? Yeah, usually it props pretty well. You know who does it really well? She's, just to explain, she's like crinking her neck. Or, I don't know what you do it, like bending her neck and doing her own little Cairo adjustment on video. Um, Chrissa does this so well. She goes like this, mm. like pushes it and it's like. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, mate, Dang, I would girl. love to be able to do that. Um, what was the question? Bang for your buck. Okay. No, so, for, for example, go to Home Depot and I scrounge around and find the 70% off wood and I, like, get a lot of bang for my buck. Yes, because you're able to get more of that wood for the same price. Yes. So that buck that you spent, you got a lot more bang compared to if you didn't get it 70% off. And here's a tip whenever you go to Home Depot. You know how there's, (laughs) like, the 70% off lumber pile or whatever they call it? Well, now I do. You can find. Yeah, well, I'll just actually go to the regular shelf find a piece of wood that let's say it's 12 foot and the last one foot has a split in it, I'll go up and say, oh, this is split. Can you like um, cull it is what the official term is. And they'll get out a can of um, purple paint and then just spray paint the very end. And then when you get to the register, it's culled. So it's like let's say that piece of wood is $20, you'll get uh, 70% off it. Yeah. Yep. You sure but I do know that with work. like 40 of the pieces. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I could use some literally of that in my built, life. Yeah, literally built a deck out of quote unquote culled wood. I mean, I didn't do it yeah. on one hit. I just would go every few days and be like, um, this piece, this piece, this piece. Enough yeah, about how to more order crepes. Yeah, enough about how to order crepes. Like that's the advice I need from you is teaching me your ways is – getting the discounts yes um everyone always says that i treat every store like a flea market and i'm like home depot like what's the difference to a flea market like you can bargain you know what i mean (laughs) like there's always room for movement i mean especially if there's imperfections but i feel like usually they'll just be like oh how about 10 percent off that's not enough no call it yeah, like you have to do it in a cheeky manner. You can't just be like an angry American like, this is broken, give me more money off. Whatever. You have to do it like, eh, come on, mate. Like, you know what I mean? Like, ah, oh, I'm sure there's a little wiggle room in there. You know what I mean? You have to do yeah. it in a sort of a yeah. joking way. Well, that that is where you need to teach people your ways because I feel like a lot of people are really shy to ask. Um Here's a good example. Yeah. Yesterday when we were out at this distillery, we were just getting a little drink. Um, there was Ooh. five of us and, oh, my gosh, my mother-in-law ordered a glass of wine. What do you do? You take the bottle and you pour it in the glass. They made all the cocktails, shook them up, stirred them up, poured them up and everything. And next thing you know, we're still we're missing her simple pour of wine. And so hmm. we followed up on it and the guy was – you know, like, oh, let me just, yeah, double check that for you and his understanding and good and whatever. But then like another five, ten, whatever minutes oh later, we God. still don't have this simple glass of wine. And so I had to go check up on it again. Yeah, not cool. And I'm thinking, you know, we definitely should not have to pay full price for this Ever. wine. Oh, no, you shouldn't <laughs> even have to pay for the wine. They should just give well, you, was it just one glass? That's what I would have thought. Like, hundred percent. You literally, like, yeah. we, were, we're, we would have been so done sorry. You had to wait halfway. Yeah, Here's we would the have one. been like halfway to full done with our drinks if we didn't keep following yeah. up. And yeah, the guy knocked twenty percent off on his own. I'm sorry, yeah. I'm insulted for you. Yeah, and it's a twelve dollar glass of wine. So big whoops, no. you got it for ten. <laughs> no, no, no. Ten fifty is your total, ma'am. Um. <laughs> That would be a situation where you probably wouldn't tip. <laughs> I would. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Don't all like stone me. Um, but that's insulting. I 100% would have said something. Okay, here's the difference. If it was for me, I probably would have just been like, whatever, take it. 
But if it was like for someone else, I would have been like, um, excuse me, I think you need to take mm. that off. Like I would have 100% oh, asked. You're a good friend to have around. Yeah. Oh, 100%. I would never have let that slide. I would have been like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> 20% yeah. is cute, but 100% would look a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 That would be a lovely skill and tact to have. Yeah. Yes. So, good on you, mate. Good on you, mate. Well, I think I did pretty well on those. Yeah, I didn't. Um, we need to start like keeping track, like so you could get like a score, like a percentage. Uh no. <laughs> wow, no need to slaughter you know, me. Well, I mean, it goes both ways. Okay. What, what was oh, that? A scorned scorned mullet? There. Like that was terrible for me. Stunned mullet. But... Yeah. Look up a mullet. Look up a stunned mullet. Okay. It is like a, I'm gonna guess it's like a deer in the. Um, deer in the headlights. Headlights. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. We're writing this one down as well. Like Do a stun mullet headlights. meeting an origin. The Australian English phrase like a stun mullet means dazed and uncomprehending. There are several ways of stunning a mullet. Is that a fish? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a drawing. <laughs> so we'll put a, <laughs> a, a mullet, a hairdo on a fish. Oh. Oh, funny. And, oh, and it's also an Australian drinking game, according oh. to Urban Dictionary. And how do you drink it? What do you do? Oh, goodness. You're getting uh, risky if you go into Urban Dictionary. This one's not bad. Oh. Um, oh, here's another definition. Incomplete bewilderment or astonishment. Yeah, I would have said shocked. Like if someone's like like a stun mullet, they're just looking at you <laughs> shocked like – Amanda. What? What did you say? Here's, here's another definition per Urban Dictionary. Are you ready? Oh, God. Podcasters, are you ready? Uh -huh. Stunt mullet is a lesbian taken by surprise. <laughs> I can't even see your face right now. Okay, there it is. Yeah, no. Um, I'm looking like a stunned mullet right now. <laughs> like what? <laughs> Another one from Urban Dictionary: A shit found floating in the surf. Again. Okay, where's I'm the drinking like game a one? Mullet, like what? Okay, here's the drinking game: an Australian drinking game that involves heavy drinking, gross indecency, and public humiliation. Oh my god! Bob, should we play stun mullets? Fuck, man! Last time I played, I got so <laughs> <laughs> sloshed, I ended up shaving my hair into a mullet. <laughs> What? Okay. I told you, Urban Dictionary, this you go down a path. You went, you went down the path. I went down a path. Yeah, but it's Urban Dictionary. You skipped down it. <laughs> <laughs> I fell flat on my face going down that path. Um, okay. Literally, well, There yesterday. you are. You told me to well, Google thank you. it, and that's what came up. Oh, I appreciate it. I'm um, going to pass the buck do to you. Have you. Any Okay, do you have anything else to add before we wrap up here? I feel like um, we haven't. Well, I feel like we've barely talked about anything, but I'm so we can glad just I easily... spent the morning prepping. At least we used the American slang. We did not touch on the conference that you wanted to hear about Ooh. with some of our data. Yeah, let's touch on it because I no, did think that was important. Amanda. Yeah, but I really want to hear about it. Can we save it for next time? Because we it, can. Will you you're going to get me started and Ooh. I'm going to go down a path. Okay. Yeah. About well, I think we'll, opioid crisis. I think I would enjoy hearing this, but yeah, let's do a, um, an episode on Ari Arionas, Arizona's, the AZ, <laughs> it's opioid crisis. <laughs> AZ. I'm sure. AZ. Yeah. Um, well, it is as always been a pleasure to have you on for the sixth time. So fun. Will you make it a seventh? Yes. Because I'm pretty sure <laughs> you are now. This time. Yes. I, <laughs> yeah. First, eh, maybe, <laughs> maybe I'll be back. Oh, I'm not sure if you can't find anyone else. Um, have you reached the status of most special guest? No, you know what? I'm looking back at my data right now. Brandy has been on Ooh, six times. So I 
Does, Eight cool. Did you say this one? I'm tied with Brandy. I mean, I didn't say that. I couldn't. I wasn't sure, but I love yeah. that your data has um, told us that. So yeah, basically, if you come back next week, we will be. You'll be the winner. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Okay. I love All that right. you have a spreadsheet of this. I know. Well, you gave me an assignment. <laughs> I did. You're really good at assignments. I feel like you'd be a great friend to have at school. Look, can you just do this assignment for me? Mm, no, because I wouldn't do that. I will help you. Oh. I'll help you learn the information, but I will not cheat for you. Yeah, that's what AI is for these days. I'm pretty sure <laughs> all the kids just like put it in a thing like write an assignment about blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Anyway, any questions or feedback, please reach out to our Facebook page. Leave us a voicemail. We have not had any voicemails for a while. Uh, that Kaden. Be fun. Links. Where are you, Kaden? Kaden where are you? Uh, <laughs> links in the show notes. Um, if you'd like to support us and buy us a coffee next week, jump onto buymeacoffee.com forward slash get a USA. Um, rate and review us. Have you done that, Emma? Yes. I rated and reviewed us on huh. um, Facebook because I couldn't and figure out how to do it on Spotify. as we always say, oh, I didn't know you could do it on Facebook. As we always say, Emma. If it ain't five stars, you better square up. Ooh, <laughs> put your jukes up. <laughs> Don't even bother. Don't even bloody bother. Well, thank you so much. I much appreciate you coming back yet again, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you, Amanda. Same time, same bat channel. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.